Hey everybody, Jace Allen here. Welcome back to the Guitar Dungeon. And today, we're playing my favorite guitar. Stick around. So, I've been playing guitar now for quite a while. Uh, mostly on again, off again. When I was... 12 years old, I got my first Harmony acoustic guitar. It was a three-quarter size acoustic guitar, and the action was about that tall on it. And it was really hard to play and it hurt my fingers, so I didn't really stick with it. And then when I was about 15 years old, my brother got a guitar and trade for something. I don't know if he worked on somebody's car or something. And uh, he got this guitar. And uh, he's older than me, and so when I was 15, I think it was about 15, 16 years old, he moved out of the house, and he gave me this guitar. This isn't the exact guitar, but it's the exact make and model. It's a Skylark. Check this thing out. This is a Skylark from Matsumoku. These things were made um, up until the mid-80s, I think, from like the late 60s to the mid-80s. Or, well, the company was in business. I'm not sure how long they made these Skylark guitars. But the Skylark guitars were sold at Sears, if anybody can remember that store. And uh, they actually had guitars. They had three different models of this guitar. One was blue that looked pretty much like this. And then one was like a brown color. And then this beautiful sort of cherry red guitar. And this is the one I had. And I had it uh, from about 15 years old until... I was about, I don't know, 21, 22, and uh, I thought it looked old and, and uh, you know, it didn't have a tremolo on it or anything, and so I thought, oh, I gotta get a better guitar. This thing is kind of clunky, and it was heavy, you know. It doesn't seem so heavy now, but back, when, back then when I was younger, it seemed pretty heavy. So I traded it in at a pawn shop for a, I don't know, a Carvin or something like that that had the Floyd Rose on it, and I played the heck out of that and then eventually got rid of that too. And, it wasn't until later in life that I got back into, into guitars, really, really heavy. So I've been looking for this guitar ever since then. And I found it on Reverb, I think got it last week, saw it on there, bought it. These things retailed for $295 and I paid over $600 for it. I think it was $650 or something like that. I've seen them go as high as $1,200. On, uh, on reverb. They're very, very hard to come by, especially the, the red model. And the brown model, I haven't even seen those. I've seen some of the blue models for sale, but not the, not the red one, not the brown one. So this is a great guitar. So, okay, let's talk about it here. So we have a really cool body. Uh, it's, it's hardwood. You got the red stain, but then you've got some, some bare wood with, I think, a mahogany racing stripe in there it's a set neck so it's a glued in neck uh looks like maple it's a few parts there's a heel here that's a different part and then the neck itself is three pieces but it's got the setback neck on it it's not like the stratocaster neck it's more like a gibson more like a, a les paul uh, it's got brass hardware on it that's kind of cool and it's even got a, a serial number stamped into the back of it like like a Les Paul um, through the body strings arm cut out um, control plate covers because everything comes through the front so there's no pick guards there's no control plate covers on the front uh, you've got a three-way switch here for the humbuckers uh, volume tone controls and then you have these three switches here which uh, affect your humbuckers and basically turn them into uh, single coils so it's sort of like a coil tap and uh, so you can mess with these switches and make all kinds of different tones come out of this guitar <laughs> That's just clean.
Anyway, there you go. So that's it. That's the Skylark by Matsumoku. Uh, guitars made. I, this this one's probably from the uh, probably the early to mid '80s. Uh, the thing is gorgeous. It's like it was never ever played. Uh, there's hardly any tarnish on the metal parts at all. It's a beautiful sounding guitar. Uh, the three-way switch is a little a little sloppy. Uh, probably fix that and uh, it'll be a great guitar. This will become probably my player, my go-to guitar. And uh, so, yeah, I'm pretty excited to uh, have this back in my hands. And uh, so there you go. If you happen to come across one of these uh, very rare Skylark guitars, uh, if you find one between maybe four and six hundred bucks, that's a bargain. So actually paying six hundred and fifty dollars for this isn't bad at all. Like I said, some of them go for upwards of twelve hundred dollars. They're extremely rare. I don't know if they're all that sought after though because I think not too many people really know about them. So if you happen across one, snatch it up. Uh, you won't be disappointed. This is a really, really great guitar. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Guitar Dungeon.